The lowercase a that went on an adventure, a children's typography story by Connor O'Toole. Once upon a line, in the back of a book in your local library, there lived a lowercase a called lowercase a. She lived between the margins with her mother and father. Her father was a no-nonsense sans serif who was always straight to the point but loved her very much. Her mother had serifs, the prettiest she had ever seen. Because of her mixed parenthood, lowercase a was a slab serif with her mother's beautiful shape and her father's more consistent line width. Despite their differences, they were all part of one big happy family. She spent her days playing games with her 25 siblings. They'd play word search, which was like hide and seek, and crossword, which was like charades. When she fought with her brothers and sisters and got out of line, her father would even things out and put her back into her place. This is called kerning. Sometimes lowercase a found life very frustrating. She found living on a page lacked depth. One day she announced she was leaving. Her parents weren't surprised. She'd been talking about getting herself inked up and they also suspected she'd started getting high finated. We understand, said her mother, but I want to emphasize before you go just how cold it is outside. Put on a jacket. The little lowercase a headed off. It was cold outside all right. And windy. I mean, really windy. I should point out at this point, that's not the correct way to italicize things. I've just slanted the regular letter. I don't own a true italic version of Clarendon. And I wasn't really arsed buying it. It was so windy that the little a was blown right off the page. When she woke, she found herself on another page, with a misshapen G looking over her. Ho oh, oh. Who are you? he said. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. My father says I'm not supposed to talk to your type of type. Someone had stretched the font on a computer, destroying his proportions. Come on! The more the merrier. Lowercase a knew this wasn't true. Her mother always said, the less the merrier when it comes to type, and keep it in the family, just not like Eric Gill. Blah! Gandafo! Kaka! What's that sound? Holy lamp! cried lowercase a. Comic Sans! It's so poorly drawn! Who would use such a monstrosity? The shitty, shitty letter chased her off the page, and she hid on a nearby emergency exit sign, on the legs of a huge Helvetica M. You're safe here, little A, said the M in an emotionally detached but ever so clear voice. She knew she could only remain a placeholder text there for so long. She had to tell her parents about the bad typography she had seen. A short time later, the Scrooge G was walking along. Walk, walk, walk and roll high school. Ain't nothing but a G thing. Oof! Oh! Oh! That was really rude. Do you realize that? Wait a second. My speech impediment is gone. Oh, thank you. No problem. I used to be one of the F's in post office. I know all about stamping letters. Ho ho ho. Just then a mysterious stranger with a posh mustache appeared. I see. Jolly good to see. Gra da da. Bum ba ba. Comic sans, eh? F U C. The letters fought until they fell off the page onto a legal document. The Comic Sans and the F continued to fight until the C was hastily removed by a good typographer. See you in hell, said the lowercase a's father in a reiteration of an earlier joke. You see, little a, the moral of this story is that sometimes folks take a wrong turn in life and need help straightening out, whereas others are just hideous and need to be exterminated. I understand, she said. Just then, a little ball approached them. Who are you? I'm a full stop, he said. I come at the end. <laughs>